Something is stirring beneath Campi Flegre. Recent seismic activity near this massive caldera in southern Italy suggests that pressure may be building beneath the surface once again. Scientists have classified the latest cluster of tremors as a seismic swarm, an event often associated with rising underground stress and potential volcanic unrest. These bursts of earthquakes have increased in intensity and frequency, raising alarms among volcanologists and local residents alike. In their latest bulletin, researchers noted a curious detail. Volcanic gas emissions from the area have dropped significantly. While that might seem reassuring at first glance, it may point to a more troubling development. A decrease in gas output can indicate that certain vents have become obstructed, potentially leading to dangerous pressure accumulation beneath the caldera. With over six million people living in the Naples metropolitan region, this is no trivial matter. Since June 18th, the region has experienced an unrelenting series of tremors, many of them stronger than usual. What's more alarming is how rapidly the seismicity has intensified. Within the span of just one hour, the area experienced a significant uptick in magnitude and frequency, an unmistakable signal that the system is becoming increasingly unstable. Notably, this uptick in seismicity comes just as local authorities have begun constructing a new evacuation route for the town of Pozzuoli. After decades of inaction, this sudden move has left many wondering. Do officials know more than they're letting on? One of the most significant tremors in the recent swarm reached magnitude 3.2. Its epicenter was located near the Solfatara crater, an area already known for hosting most of the region's seismic activity. When viewed on a population density map, the implications become even more sobering. The darker the region on the map, the more people live there, and unfortunately much of Campi Flegre is surrounded by densely populated neighbourhoods. Unlike Mount Vesuvius, which looms visibly on the horizon, Campi Flegre hides in plain sight. Its surface is deceptively tranquil, shaped like a series of soft hills and fertile plains. Over time, people were drawn to the region for its rich volcanic soil, perfect for farming. But that same soil came at a cost. Many experts now argue that allowing construction in such a geologically unstable area was a catastrophic oversight. If an eruption does occur, the consequences could be severe. Studies have shown that the area is capable of producing a phreatic eruption, a violent steam-driven event that could precede a much larger volcanic episode. Some volcanologists warn that such an eruption may be imminent. The situation is evolving quickly. A review of the seismic data from June 19th onward paints a clear picture. Earthquakes initially hovered around magnitudes of 1.0 to 1.9 comma. But on the night of the 21st, the tremors jumped abruptly, reaching 2.2 and higher. These quakes often strike in the early hours, jolting residents from their sleep and sending many back out into the streets in fear, as they have done numerous times in recent years. The question now is not whether something is happening, but how soon it might escalate. The threat posed by the volcano isn't limited to a possible eruption. The very structures built around it are alarmingly fragile. According to a veteran structural engineer, many homes in the area are held together more by proximity than stability, their walls simply press against each other, and the mortar between the stones has degraded to the consistency of powder. This vulnerability became painfully evident during a recent earthquake in the low magnitude 4 range when part of a ceiling collapsed, releasing clouds of dust and triggering panic. In a span of just minutes, a swarm of tremors shook the region. At 4.55 p.m., a magnitude 2.2 earthquake struck. Just five minutes later, a 3.2 followed, each one accompanied by a deep, thunderous roar. Residents likely flooded into the streets after the first and certainly after the second. Merely 27 seconds later, another 2.2 rattled the area. Within the next two minutes, two more quakes struck, each just over magnitude 1, followed shortly by a 1.5, and all this unfolded in the narrow window of time during which this report was being prepared. Scientists are now asking a critical question. What is driving this intense and persistent seismic pressure? According to the most recent geological bulletins, the land is still rising, specifically in the area of Bradyseism 
where the uplift rate has reached approximately 1.5 centimeters per month. This slow but steady elevation is a sign that magma or gas is accumulating below the surface. Something beneath is expanding, pushing upward, seeking a path out. Adding to the concern is the fluctuation in volcanic gas emissions. While the most recent readings showed a temporary dip in sulphur dioxide at Campi Flegre, this may not be comforting. In fact, it could be a warning sign. If the volcanic vent system becomes blocked, pressure may build dangerously until it's released in a sudden explosive event. The history of the region offers sobering context. Campi Flegre experienced a catastrophic super-eruption around 40,000 years ago, one of the largest in Europe's geologic record. Another significant eruption occurred roughly 109,000 years ago. Today, over half a million people live within this massive caldera, unaware that they're perched atop one of the most restless volcanic systems on Earth. Over the last 75 years, Campi Flegre has shown repeated signs of unrest. The most recent eruption occurred in 1538, giving birth to Monte Nuovo, a small but sudden mountain formed by an eruption that followed rapid ground uplift, remarkably similar to current patterns. Though that eruption was minor on the volcanic explosivity index, rated around a 2, it stands in stark contrast to the much more violent eruption of 109,000 years ago, which scored a 7 on the same scale. While predicting the exact timing or scale of an eruption remains impossible, the prevailing scientific consensus suggests that a phreatic eruption, a sudden steam-driven blast caused by groundwater flashing to vapour, cannot be ruled out. In fact, the 1538 eruption began precisely this way, and it opened underground pathways that allowed magma to reach the surface shortly thereafter. Campi Flegre is now among the most intensely monitored volcanic zones on the planet. With each study, new layers of complexity and concern emerge. Still, many mysteries remain. The science is progressing, but there's an urgent need for greater public awareness and understanding of the risks hidden beneath the ground. Researchers have recently completed advanced seismic imaging and rock physics analyses using core samples drawn from deep within the caldera. These studies have allowed them to reconstruct a high-resolution picture of the volcano's internal architecture. The results revealed three critical geological layers working in concert to shape the region's patterns of ground movement and microseismic activity. Near the surface lies a fibrous caprock layer, acting as a fragile seal over the volatile system beneath. Just below this lies a reservoir saturated with volcanic gases. Over time, as fluids accumulate, this reservoir begins to pressurize silently, steadily. That pressure continues to mount until the caprock can no longer contain it. Beneath both layers lies a stable, dense geological foundation, the basement rock sloping inward toward the heart of the volcanic system, forming a structural funnel. Warnings about this supervolcano's restlessness have circulated for years, and scientists continue to emphasize the catastrophic potential should it erupt. A large-scale eruption could disrupt not just the surrounding region, but the entire planet's climate and stability. Pre-eruption signs often include a marked rise in seismic activity. Small earthquakes triggered as internal pressure seeks release. These tremors slowly fracture and weaken the cap rock, making it more likely for magma to breach the surface. The process is eerily similar to steam accumulating in a pressure cooker. When the structural integrity of the lid fails, it explodes. Compounding concerns is a surge in volcanic gas emissions, particularly carbon dioxide, with daily output spiking to between 4,000 and 5,000 tonnes. Such elevated gas levels frequently accompany magma migration, signalling that molten rock is advancing toward the surface. Recent studies indicate that magma may now reside only a few miles beneath, a dangerously shallow depth. This mounting pressure raises the risk of a sudden eruption, potentially a phreatic one, which historically has occurred with little to no warning. The ground has been rumbling with swarms of quakes and continuous gas releases, amplifying the unease. 
Volcanologist Christopher Kilburn of the INGV, the institute tasked with constant monitoring of the volcano, stressed the importance of distinguishing gas emissions driven by magma movement from those caused by natural geological reactions. It is a delicate but essential task in forecasting possible activity. The threat extends far beyond geology. Campi Flegre sits alarmingly close to a densely populated region. Over six million people live in the metropolitan area of Naples. Should an eruption occur, the destruction could be immense. Infrastructure would be at risk. Homes, roads, power lines and water systems could all be disabled. In worst-case scenarios, evacuation routes may be compromised, leaving little chance for safe escape. The town of Pozzuoli, where many recent seismic events have clustered, lies at the epicentre of this growing threat. Every tremor, every rise in gas output, paints a picture of a system under stress, an ancient force stirring just beneath the surface with the potential to rewrite the lives of millions in an instant. The concern isn't about homes, it's about human lives. While the destruction of property is undeniably tragic, the real urgency lies in protecting people who live under growing threat. A recent peer-reviewed study has revealed that approximately 80% of the carbon dioxide being emitted from the Solfatara crater originates directly from magma deep beneath the Earth's surface. This isn't the result of surface-level phenomena, it's magma itself releasing gas, a signal that it could be ascending. The remaining 20% of gas emissions stem from interactions between subterranean fluids and surrounding rock. While such reactions are part of natural geothermal systems and don't always precede eruptions, scientists monitor them closely. These emissions are evaluated in combination with ground deformation and persistent swarms of micro-earthquakes, many of which are too faint to be detected by standard instruments. These are not random tremors, they're warnings. When magma rises, it forces gases outward, gradually increasing pressure within the volcano. If that pressure exceeds the structural limits of the overlying rock, it can fracture the crust and potentially unleash a violent eruption. In the Campi Flegre caldera, this scenario is particularly worrisome. The volcanic caprock in this area, meant to contain pressure, is already weak and riddled with structural vulnerabilities. The name Campi Flegre, meaning burning fields, is rooted in its explosive past. The region was shaped by one of the most catastrophic eruptions in Europe's history, the Campanian Ignimbrite event which triggered the collapse of the land into the magma chamber below. For decades, scientists have observed unsettling signs of renewed unrest. Though it's impossible to pinpoint exactly when an eruption might occur, recent observations suggest that the timeline could be accelerating. Since 2005, the ground in and around the caldera has been steadily rising, a geophysical phenomenon known as Bradyseism. In towns like Pozzuoli, the ground has lifted nearly five feet in just the most recent phase of this activity. It's as if the land itself is inflating slowly and silently under the pressure of magma creeping upward. To understand the stability of the region, researchers have turned to structural failure models commonly used in civil engineering, their goal? To determine how the rock beneath Campi Flegre responds to escalating stress. The results are sobering. The rock appears to be transitioning from elastic bending to brittle fracturing, an evolution that often precedes volcanic eruptions. One team of scientists put it starkly. We are seeing a clear progression toward a state where rupture is more likely. The official alert level for Campi Flegrai was raised from green to yellow back in 2012, signalling increased vigilance. Yet further escalation has been slow, possibly due to economic and political pressures, tourism, real estate and regional stability all hang in the balance. Reports have emerged that Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, which monitors both Campi Flegrai and Mount Vesuvius, has begun considering relocating its surveillance operations. If even the scientists responsible for issuing public warnings are planning an exit, that alone speaks volumes. They are the ones closest to the data, and their actions suggest they are deeply concerned. While current patterns of seismic unrest may appear routine, concerns are quietly mounting among individual scientists, those not bound by institutional messaging. These experts warn that society remains ill-prepared.
Existing evacuation plans could prove ineffective in the event of a major volcanic eruption and the consequences would not remain confined to the Campi Flegrei region. History provides a stark warning. The explosive formation of Monte Nuovo in 1538 marked the last significant eruption of Campi Flegrei, but long before that, this caldera unleashed one of the most catastrophic volcanic events ever recorded. That ancient eruption, classified as an ignimbrite caldera forming event, had global consequences, disrupting climate systems, darkening skies and cooling the earth for years. A similar event today would be even more devastating due to modern civilization's vulnerabilities. If such an eruption occurred now, the resulting ash cloud could spread across much of Europe, grounding air travel, contaminating water sources and damaging agriculture. Electrical grids might fail under the weight of volcanic ash, and crops could wither under a dimmed sun. The release of sulphur dioxide and other aerosols into the stratosphere could reflect sunlight away from Earth, potentially triggering a volcanic winter, a period marked by colder temperatures, erratic weather and global food insecurity. The current swarm of earthquakes under Campi Flegrei is ongoing. Each tremor adds to a growing sense of urgency among researchers monitoring the caldera. While not every seismic burst signals an imminent eruption, the patterns are enough to warrant serious attention. In the background of a world already grappling with geological instability, from landslides to floods, this particular hazard demands a closer look. For those seeking a deeper understanding of these risks, detailed scientific analyses and updates remain crucial. In times like these, vigilance and awareness are not just scientific duties, they are humanitarian ones. The signs unfolding beneath Campi Flegre are not just tremors in the ground, they're a wake-up call. Whether this leads to an eruption or not, staying informed is essential. If you found this video helpful or eye-opening, please take a moment to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you're always up to date with the latest developments. Your support helps keep this information flowing. Thank you for watching and above all, stay safe.